Hello dear students, welcome to Varsha Tutorials. In the last video we had learned one of the property of air that is air has mass and today we are going to learn one more property of air based on atmospheric pressure. Children, we are surrounded by air all the time and the molecules of air are in constant and random motion and when they strike any object they exert pressure on the object and the pressure exerted on any object by the air molecules is called as atmospheric pressure. So today we are going to learn one of the property of air based on the atmospheric pressure. So let us begin with the demonstration. All that we need is just a syringe. Let us understand the parts of the syringe. Children, this, this is a syringe and it is consisting of two parts. One is barrel and another is piston. And this is inlet hole of the syringe. Clear? Now let us understand how it works. This is inlet hole of the syringe. When the inlet hole is kept open and the syringe is pulled, the piston stands as it is. Again we are pulling the piston and you see after releasing the piston stand where it is. Again when the piston is pulled, after releasing, it stand, stands where it is. Why do, does this happen? Children, when the inlet hole is kept open, air enters through the inlet hole from the top as well as air enters through the downward part through these holes, holes at the bottom of the syringe. So air pressure in this direction is balanced by the air pressure in the opposite direction. Therefore, after pulling the piston and releasing it back, the piston stands as it is. It doesn't move in the forward direction or in the backward direction because the air pressure in both the directions are balanced by each other. Okay. Now the syringe is held horizontally. Let us close the inlet hole of the syringe and pull the piston. After releasing the piston, it moves in the forward direction. Again pull the piston and release it. Again the piston moves in the forward direction. Pull the piston, release it, forward direction. Every time you move the piston and release it, it moves in the forward direction. Now the syringe is held vertically. Close the inlet hole of the syringe and pull the piston. Again after pulling it and releasing it back, the piston moves forward. Again pull it and release it. The piston moves forward. Again pull it and release it. The piston moves forward. Now the syringe is in the inclined direction with the inlet hole close. Let us now pull the piston and release it. After releasing the piston again moves in the forward direction. Let us repeat this. Pull the piston and release it. Again the piston is moving in the forward direction. Pull and release it. The piston is moving in the forward direction. Now let's understand why does this happen. Now this is the syringe and this is the position of the piston. This position of the piston when the inlet hole is closed I am drawing it now as here. Now as the inlet hole is closed the air cannot outside air cannot enter the enter inside the syringe. So whatever air is present is in the compressed form. Okay. So very little space is available for the air molecules. But when the piston is pulled, the air space available for the air increases. So now the position of piston has come here. So that's what I'm drawing here now.
So as the space available for the air molecules increases, the air molecules get scattered. And now I'll draw the scattered air molecules. And that's what we say that air has become rare or air is rarefied. As the air is rarefied, the air pressure inside the syringe becomes low compared to the air pressure outside the syringe. So outside air pressure is higher and this higher air pressure pushes the piston in the forward direction. Okay, so this is true for all the direction of the syringe whether it is held horizontally, vertically or in the inclined direction. It is true for all the direction of the syringe. So what does this experiment proves? Yes, air pressure is same in all the directions. You know at ordinary condition atmospheric pressure at sea level is 1,1400 Newton per meter square and this is almost equal to the mass of one car. And so it is like holding a car onto your head all the time. So you must be wondering why don't we feel such a huge atmospheric pressure? Yes, you are right because atmospheric pressure is same in all the directions. Let us consider example of my pump. Now you Above my pump there are air molecules as well as below my pump there are air molecules. The air molecules above my pump when they strike my pump they exert downward force and the air molecules below my pump when they strike they exert upward force. So the atmospheric pressure in the downward direction as well as in the upward direction is same. But as the direction is in the opposite direction as the direction are opposite they cancel each other. And therefore, we don't feel the atmospheric pressure. Then you must be wondering what about the atmospheric pressure exerting on our body? Hold your breath. Now, we have air into our body. That is air inside our nose, lungs, ears, stomach, etc. These air present inside our body exert outward force on our body. Thus, the atmospheric pressure exerted by the Air on our body is balanced by the outward pressure of air inside our body. I hope you have understood. That's why we don't get crushed by the huge atmospheric pressure. Okay? So students, if you like my teaching, do hit the like button. And please do not forget to share and subscribe to my channel. For more updates, hit the bell icon.